dude. Do you want to get to rating this thing? Yeah, let's get to rating this thing. Just because that's how we start all of these clips. <laughs> all right. So Devil's River, bourbon whiskey, small batch, Texas bourbon whiskey. Label and branding. I'm a, I'm a sucker for bottles, first of all. I like this bottle. It's got that indent in the back, too. I like the bottle. It's got the indent. It's a cool shape. Second of all, the label not only says Devil's River, obviously, but it has a picture of the actual Devil's River, which is pretty sweet. I like that. And Devil's River was founded in 1840, so they put 1840 on it, on the label. What do you mean it was founded in 1840? Well, that's when it was like a thing. Like the river yeah. was founded? Yeah. Gotcha. Just wanted to clarify for our listeners. So it's 45 ABV, 90 proof. Mm-hmm. So, so 1840 was post Lewis and Clark, wasn't it? If you think I retained any of that information, you're wrong. Oh my goodness, bro. Dialing it back to the premium coffee episode. That's right. Uh, so I like this bottle. I like that it's unique. I really enjoy bottles of different sizes and something that makes it unique to that brand. And we have not seen anything during this podcast that has the same bottle as that. So I'm going to give it one of the higher ratings an A++. A++. I agree. I agree. Cheers. Also, this 1840 is post Lewis and Clark. That was going to keep me up at night if you did not look that up. Well, it would have kept me up, so... <laughs> Keep your tood. A plus plus. Nose. I'm all out. So can you give me that? Oh my god, dude, this is good. Over it's there, smooth. crushing it. Yeah, it's smooth and it's very delicious. We use that term a lot, delicious, because whiskey is delicious in general. But this. So not only does that exist, <laughs> but now you're forcing everybody to eat it. <laughs> um, you like, you can taste. The purity of this water that's in this whiskey. You are going to be hammered. That's fine. All I got to do is edit the rest of the night. So what do you, you want more too? No, I'm good. Oh, okay. I got to go home and continue my reno. All right. So exceptional. This is what it says on the side of the bottle. Exceptionally pure water. That's what makes Devil's River Bourbon Whiskey the smooth, decorated, small batch bourbon whiskey you enjoy today. Legendary Texas Ranger John Coffee Hayes named his powerful waterway the Devil's River in 1840. And from his ingenuity, our namesake was born. The naturally filtered limestone spring water is considered the purest water in Texas. The iron-free, which is what I think I'm tasting, because water here is full of iron, pumping iron. Uh, The iron-free sweet spring water is ideal for crafting an unrivaled Texas bourbon whiskey. Its purity unmasks all the delightful nuances we work tirelessly to emphasize in every sip. Here's to living a life that's never short of extraordinary. Devil's River bourbon whiskey. I love that, first of all. So, okay. So, we already rated the label writing. So, what about nose? You're getting the high corn right on the nose. Yeah, and then just like a, a hint of vanilla. You can tell. Some caramel. Yeah, you can tell just by the nose. That this is more corn than normal. Interesting. It's so sweet. Yeah, a little corn, or most corn, a little vanilla. And like a little butterscotch a little bit. Yeah. Um... It's very, very sweet. What would you give it for the for the nose? A plus? Yeah. Yeah. This is This is not even close to a B. Yeah, no. Obvi, that's why it's an A plus. Initial right. taste. You get that extreme sweetness of the corn up front. The you get an oak more on the back end. The initial taste for me is just all sweet corn and butterscotch again. The the smell is exactly how it tastes. Sometimes you get some whiskey that it's completely different, but for me, this initial taste is exactly how I would think it is after smelling it. I'm getting caramel up front and oak on the back end, and I already have my ending notes. Ending notes are like dialed in. 
yeah, I'm getting corn up front, initial taste. And that meanders your way, its way down your tongue with a butterscotch. And like a butterscotch caramel. I don't know, I just, I'm trying to find more excuses to keep drinking it. Initial taste rating. A plus A plus. plus plus plus. Three pluses, Three I'm down. Pluses. I agree. I agree, I agree, I agree. Ending note, I'm getting oak and pepper. And it's mm-hmm. it overpowers everything else. And it's the perfect blend to let you know, like, hey. This is still right. This is yeah, this is still this is still a ninety proof bourbon. I want you to enjoy this. It's for gentlemen. Mm-hmm. But here you go. This is this is what you're supposed to get mm-hmm. and what you're used to from a Kentucky bourbon. That's the rye coming out at the end. This doesn't, it, it's a very high hug. So smooth, dude. It, it hugs right in the, like, right. Right at the at top the of your throat, yeah. And then as it's going down, it just leaves that taste in your mouth. Yeah. And then it just goes down so smooth. Can you pass me the dropper, dude? See if this thing evolves, because I don't think that there's any oil in here. Ending note rating, A3 pluses. Mm-hmm. I'm like trying to unconsciously dial back the rating because I know that from having it in the past, the rye is my favorite Devil's River product because I've had that one before. And I don't know how I'm going to be able to to make that one higher than this one. (laughs) It's just so good. You had the rye at the Whiskey Riot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, all this is watered down. There's no oil in here. No. Which we would have, which we guessed, because it's not lingering on your tongue. It doesn't stay in your mouth very long. No. It's a smooth pass through, but it's a delicious pass through. Yeah. Which is again why I'm emphasizing that this is a smash whiskey where you can destroy it, and you're gonna wake up four days later because you're not gonna know that you've been drinking whiskey because you don't feel that, like gross whiskey feeling if you don't like whiskey where it just sticks in the back of your throat and it has that lingering feeling this doesn't have any of that this goes right down like water i don't know what happened but this goes down like water this is ridiculously smooth dude this is is tough how much was this 30 bucks jesus if i remember correctly price category too for this because there's some whiskeys that are amazing but I wouldn't get them because of the price, like an everyday drinker. This is an everyday drinker that has the price of an everyday drinker and has the taste of an extraordinarily expensive whiskey. This is competing with Hartman's bourbon. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. We said last time when we were here uh, with one of the other whiskeys that we reviewed for 1790, or Elijah Craig, we said. Yeah. Everybody should have a bottle of Elijah Craig. I'm cutting that right now. I'm going to have a bottle of this before I have Elijah Craig. Agreed. Agreed. This is something that's even cheaper than Elijah Craig. You can destroy it. And it's it has such a good taste to it. This is a, this is a home run. Good job. All right. Ending or final. Did we give an ending note? Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah. Final rating now. Ready? Yeah. Give me that countdown. Three, two, one.